So let's go back for a minute, mm -hmm. just so that I can ask you about this, because this is probably the reverse of yes. the experience of many of your contemporaries mm -hmm. who would have gone to all black schools, you know, until college or beyond. Right. So what was the impact of the Brown decision on you? What do you remember about it? I remember it? being discussed at the table. I don't remember talking about my father's role in it at the table, but I remember the decision at the table. I was 14 years old when this happened. I remember talking about it, and I remember this feeling my parents had of, of great joy and optimism about it. I don't think they had foolish optimism. I don't think they thought things would change overnight. But they thought this was a sign of change. Change was going to occur. Things were looking up, looking better. Um, so I remember it in that context. But I, you know, curious, I don't remember my father saying, you know, I had something to do with that. Mm -hmm. Or if he did say it, it didn't sink into us. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you don't, you remember the discussions, but clearly it didn't have any direct impact no. on you. So no. you couldn't really have thought about what it meant for then or for the future, even necessarily. No, I just remember this feeling that good things were in store, but what those things were weren't specified or detailed, but good things were happening. So it was a time of general optimism, yes. but you didn't know quite how. Right. 